everybody. Thanks for checking out my infrared sauna vlog. So I took a little break from it because I went away and then when I came back, I um, had to play catch up and do a million things. And I'm gonna be putting some footage up of my trip, which is, was really fun and really raised my vibration. So, uh, but it's still really intense out there and I needed some purple light today and pink purple light. Um, while I'm in my uh, 100 and further, almost 30 degree heat right now, and I'm um, going to do my meditation. But I wanted to talk about um, what's really been over the last few days, especially having been away and not, not, not done my vlog. I've just been thinking about a lot of things because when I'm in here, I talk and uh, I haven't been in here. So, but what's been really in my heart and in mind is that this year, this, this 2018 year has really been hard for a lot of people, myself included. And, um, everybody that I talk to, maybe it's just my world, but seems to have had either at, at the very least have major transitions in this year, relationship wise or business wise or whatever. And so train changes can be difficult. And, you know, a lot of people have had a lot of loss and heartache and relationship restructuring and that sort of thing, including myself. And so I was looking back in social media a year ago and I looked like a completely different person. It was like, I just was coming into this dark tunnel of 2018. And now we're almost to the other side because we're going into a new energy in 2019, a completely new energy. And so it's like, I feel like we've all, all gone through hell <laughs> and now we have an opportunity to, to be born again, like the Phoenix, you know, and just really shed the pain and the suffering that we've endured this year and use it as fuel for our growth and the expansion of our consciousness. Now, that's a big thing because there's been a lot of craziness and I f believe that I'm going to just take a second to digress because this is important for women, especially to know people, people in general. I feel like this year has brought out the worst in so many people and there are those that are trying to get through it and be better and raise their vibration and learn and expand from all these trials and tribulations. And there are those that have taken the other road and just dived headfirst into the swamp of anger, despair, resentment, hate, feeling like they've been the, the victim mentality. Okay. And so when people that are not all together stable or whatever, get into a victim mentality, you know, and a low, low, low vibration, terrible things can happen. They can get entities attached that are just, can we, you know, that's a whole other topic, but, and I don't want to go on too long, but my point is, is that one of my great lessons in life is to see the bad in people too, because I only ever tend to see the good in people. And I always want to believe that everyone has that higher self and that conscience to do the right thing. But this energy that we've been through this year has brought out the worst in many, many people and allowed a lot of darkness to descend upon this human kind on this planet. And so it became absolutely clear to me as one of my great lessons that I have to be, have more discernment because people like me, especially people that are empaths and that are sensitive, darkness feeds on heart chakra energy. And so Sometimes darker entities and energies seek out heart chakra energy because they feed on it and not in a positive way. And so I had an experience recently where someone was setting out to take advantage of me and used all sorts of deceitful tools to get that agenda across. Misrepresentation across the board. And because I'm just an open-hearted person, I wanted to believe the, the lies. And so, thank God I have angels. Thank God I have angels that always protect me. But 
you know, I'm just giving a message to the to whoever's listening and to myself to remember that these are different times and that you always have to have your protection up and you have to have your discernment on. Okay. While trying to raise your vibration and get to a more expanded consciousness of love. Tricky times, baby. Very tricky times. Anyway, now I'm going to meditate. It's 130. I got about 50 minutes more. And I'm going to envision the highest vibration and light for everyone and blessings to everyone. And keep the faith. Keep the faith. <laughs> Peace.